Hi, this is Gabe with HDP, your source for welding supplies. Today I'm going to go over some setup and settings for the 200i with Easy Set technology. It's an awesome machine for fabrication, automotive, um, hobbyists. The machine's lightweight. It's 39 pounds. Um, anybody can pick it up. It's powerful enough for material thickness, 26 gauge all the way up to a quarter inch. So it has synergic settings that get you in the ballpark right away and it has a manual mode for more experienced welders. So we're going to go over some of the settings and some of the features. So we're going to go over some uh, basic setup and basically go over exactly what you're seeing here on the face of the machine. So the first thing you have is 2T and you can scroll down to 4T. That is just be your welding process. You also have your synergic settings, 035, 030. 024 with it lit, lit up you're actually in that program and now we are in manual mode none of the lights are illuminated which would indicate we are in manual mode in order to get your voltage it's actually indicated in the black ring in the very middle and the black ring on the inside for your wire speed so if you were gonna go and change it over we'd be at 29 in voltage here and if we were going to change it to 400 inches per minute that's where we would be at now if we switched over to our easy set function to get you up and running quickly you would start off in zero and as far as the 030 it would be the middle one right here so this would determine on what kind of material you're welding on so if we're on 16 gauge you want to be sitting here and basically from here to here is the amount of your wire speed so you can actually be sitting just a hair lower or if you want to speed it up you can put it a hair higher now you have the option to set your voltage you can go all the way down to negative four which would be right here in the outside red ring you can go as high as positive four again it would be an indication in the outside red ring so now we're going to go over um, our actual front panel buttons. So these are our synergic settings for the easy set. Um, you basically would just push this button here and that would uh, scroll through each different uh, synergic program. This would be our advanced setting button. This would be our inch button. And this would button here control the purge function. Uh, basically the advanced setting button will have to be used along with either the inch or the purge, which it's clearly labeled here, as far as your start speed, and this here would be labeled for your burn back. Now we're gonna go ahead and set our start speed. Uh, the default in the program is 80%. It's actually indicated by the inside white ring, which would be eight on this dial, which would be your 80%. If you wanted to go down to 10, it'd be indicated with the one all the way up to 100%, which is indicated by the 10. In order to set your start speed, you would hold down the two buttons here until you hear the three beeps. And now our start speed is set, and that will have a crisp arc ignition without a machine gun start. Next, we're gonna set the burn back function. Uh, burn back is the amount the wire sticks out after welding. Higher the number, the shorter the stick out. The lower the number, the longer the stick out is. For burn back, you're going to hold down these two buttons until it beeps three times. The number is indicated in the inner white ring. Default is at zero. So you have one all the way up to 10. Now the burn back has been set. I have roughly about 
one inch of stick out after welding. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reset the functions. You hold down your easy set. After the third beep, we are now reset. All right, so two great features on the 200i is that you have the purge function and the inch function. A uh, great thing about the purge function is you're actually able to dispel any argon that's in the line without actually pushing the wire out by holding the button down. Or if you're trying to set your flow meter, you hit the button and set your flow meter while you don't have any wire going out. Now the inch button will actually move the wire forward but will not allow any of the gas to come out. So you can actually move the wire forward without actually wasting any of your argon. All right, we're gonna basically go over a quick setup as far as the 200i, um, as far as putting wire in and everything. First and foremost, you wanna check and make sure the polarity is correct for MIG with gas. If we were actually gonna go into flux core, the polarity would actually be reversed. So you'd actually take these off and reverse them. This one is one of our older models. On the new one, you're gonna have a pigtail on the front which would be in the positive receptacle. You would just unscrew and put it into the negative receptacle for flux core. One thing that you do have to note is that we do have spacers that go in and that would be to space out for the roll of wire. And you wanna make sure that you do have some tension on the brake, but not too much. So you basically will have some drag, but you don't want it to be pinched in there. Next, you would actually insert the wire in, feed it through onto the roller, and you would actually set tension through here. You also want to make sure that your drive roller is clocked in the correct position, so the number facing the outside would be whichever wire you're actually using. Next up, we're going to talk about the guns, a couple options you can have for this actual machine. This here would be the rigid, so there is no flex whatsoever. This is just your standard gun. You also have an option to go into a flex neck, which will let you give you just a little more adjustability as far as welding in which position you're going to weld. As far as automotive is usually the most places that will use this. This is for like exhaust going around. You have different options to get into tight spaces. This is a great, great tool to have. All right, so those were the ins and outs of the machine, basic setups, a way to get you rolling and out there welding, uh, 200i, awesome machine. So like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram, check on Facebook for your updates and all the cool welding stuff that we're gonna be doing. We'll see you guys later.